Okay, so we came to the big farm to start today off. By the way, welcome to the Max. Welcome to the Max. Welcome to the Max. Uh, if you hadn't caught our last vlog, uh, we have a sick calf and we are trying to nurse it back to help. So go back and watch that video if you haven't. So anyways, we're going to, to the Macy down here and we're gonna see if we can get her treated with another vitamin B12 shot and uh, see what we can do. Well, it's been a flustered morning. We a flustered morning. Get all the way up there. The cow is still not doing, I mean, I guess you can say he's doing better. She's doing better than she did yesterday. Wouldn't you say that? I mean, she's at least got her head up and we're not having to rotate her over. But she's not, um, she's still not wanting to get off. Me and Aiden pushed and pulled and pushed and pulled. And I guess we just need to remember that's not our main farm, so we gotta take stuff that we need. So we didn't have any straps up there, so what we did is we uh, came home, got some straps, and what we're gonna do is head back. Now, one thing we are doing to be more prepared, of course, we're gonna treat them while we're up there, all the cows with some basic age and apple cider vinegar and probiotics, but also what we've got is behind us, we've got our trailer. And then that way, if we cannot get this calf up and standing up and staying up, even though she may be weak, we're gonna go and just load her up and bring her home. And then that way, two things. Either we can baby her in one of our little barns next to the dairy station, or we will literally just let her die at our farm, you know, depending on what happens. So she's, to me, she's better. Her morale is better. She looks to be better, but, but she, she's, still has a long way she still is not standing up. Um, I just talked to another farmer just a while ago and they said they have a calf down too and I hate that I mean, I wish there was some way to, to To do it. I don't know if it's about weather. I don't know if she got hurt I mean, she don't act sick, but at the same time she's not getting up. They cannot just lay there uh, With all the stomachs and, and them eating hay because I'm still feeding her a little bit Her using the restroom all that's just saying You're getting a sick cow or they're going to end up dying right there. So you got to get them up So we've moved her around We've rotated her, but again, this farm, our farm is what, 20 minutes away? So it's 20 minutes away, so we need to be able to get her back home if I can't get her up, because I can't just run up here every few seconds <laughs> and check on her. We multiple trips back and forth. Uh -huh. We have too much other stuff to do. So it's a little frustrating. I mean, you know, you, you, you plan. I wrote this big list of stuff we needed, and I forgot every bit of it. So uh, welcome to Six Kids Home. <laughs> So we got all the kids in the car. I guess that's better than getting all the stuff. I'd rather not leave the kids. I'd rather leave the stuff and have to come back for it. So it's just been one of those days. back home and I'm gonna try to get Aiden this I got to unhook from the trailer from the car we're gonna hook the, this trailer to the Ranger so we can pull it in the field and get her put in the barn uh, and see if she can get well Alright, so we're to the barn, or one of the three barns we have on the property that's at the house. So, just right where she's at, we're going to put some more bedding down here. As you know, this is where the dairy extension is across over here, and this is that little barn area that's just going to keep her dry. We've got some hay, but we're going to go ahead and fill some more hay in, and then bring her down in there. I'm going to have to pull her, try to stand her up as much as we can, because she's still weak. And that way we can rotate her, flip her, but at the same time she's out of the elements. And hopefully she'll get strong enough to where she can just walk out. I don't. I'm not. I don't have a gate on this field, like as in the you know to the little barn. So she can just walk out if she ever gets the strength to, and that way nothing to mess with her anyway. So 
uh, hopefully she'll hope she can pull it out She's taking care of the cattle trailers out of there. So now it's, I gotta move Allie and Josie over. And I was gonna put them in the same place that she was, but I don't think I am. I think I'm gonna try to, I don't know, we'll see. We'll see if that works good or not. I haven't decided if I'm gonna put them in there or not. I just don't want them to cause her any issues any more than she's already got. Okay, yeah, so I'm not gonna, just because I don't know what be, can be causing Macy to be sick i don't want to jeopardize putting any cows with her they filled over fine but i don't want any cows just right with her so i think i'm gonna bring Allie and josie into the dairy extension field uh, and let the field there in rest i'll get the tractor and move their bell of hay and that way at least i know that they're not directly next to her Cows removed, and you can't tell me she is not a good looking jersey. She is about seven months pregnant. We'll be drying her up basically this week, but I mean, just look how healthy she looks. She is so healthy. Look how wise she is. Good looking jersey. Hey, girl. And her baby's looking good too. We're not gonna breed her till we're gonna do a delayed labor or I mean a delayed pregnancy on her, I think. Instead of breeding her when she can, I think we're gonna let her mature a little bit before we breed her with uh, another another bull. Alright, we're at a full cool place and we're gonna be doing something really unique. What are we doing? Picking up our cow. Picking up no, not a cow. cow. A bull. All right, what do you think about what do you think about quarantine? Uh, he's really small. He's really small. All right, we're here picking up a new addition to the farm. Everybody hear that feed? They're coming up. addition to the farm today. He's home, we are gonna tag him, so therefore we need to, well, let's get him in here first. All right, I'm gonna open this, you stand right there. Good job, buddy. All right, close this up, scoot up a little bit, yeah. Scoot up a little bit, 
Macy. Our new baby boy right there. This is going to be our future herd bull. The next Ferdinand and the next video. What are you doing? What, what are you scared of, Jen? Is the moo cow scaring you? Oh. See, they're nice. <laughs> is she scary? <laughs> is that cow right there scary? All right, it's getting late, but we've got to tag the cow. We got her, the bull calf. We got him in there and then couldn't find our tags. Not organized like we should, but. Aiden, you're probably going to have to get some feed, sweetheart. All right, try to get him in there. All right, close them off. So he's not got any new hole. And we took just one earring out and put the other one in. These I don't use these tags that much, so I had to double check myself, make sure I was in right. Uh, but we're gonna let him go. He is our new, our new bull. Hey, buddy. We're gonna let him grow, and he basically he's gonna be what Ferdinand can't breed. He's gonna become the new breeder. So he's got about, you know, probably eight to ten months before he can breed. But we want him to get used to us and know who we are and not uh, be a ferocious bull. All right, let's let you out, buddy. He's a fat boy, too. Okay, it's getting late, but I want to show you this. You remember we have Nellie and Ollie that are our Herefords, and we're trying to bring our Herefords here. We're trying to make our Herefords in Jersey uh, area really be prominent here. And we want to really grow our Hereford, our Hereford breed and even throw in some south paws too because they're about the same size because our jerseys the herefords they all tend to be a little bit shorter a little bit more stubbier compared to like our angus and, and charlays and things like that so we're going to leave those big ones at the big bee farm bring our heifers and our herefords and if we get the south paws of course our jerseys all that will be here but we're trying to build a better group of cattle here a hardier group here we will eventually sell all our Anguses and, and Branguses and even Aiden's little Charlay. One day we'll clean them up and decide what he wants. But our goal here is between, between our jerseys, uh, our beef cattle, we really want to focus on uh, our South Poles and Herefords. Now Herefords, we have all of all the Herefords we own are registered. So we're really trying to build a, a strong, well-known, good set of Herefords here. So we bought him. He's not tied to the same family Nelly and Ollie are. But again, it's part of the same Hereford Association, so we're really hoping that he can be the next strong, strong, strong herd bull.